All right, class, let's do some review of what we've been working on so far today. First of all, what it, let's see, what do we call something we add on at the end of a word? Hmm, did you say suffix? If so, great job. If not, just try and remember that for next time. Something we add on at the end of a word, we call it a suffix. All right, and then we're talking about vowel suffixes. A vowel suffix is any suffix that starts with which letters? All right, if you said A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes, why well, go ahead and pat yourself on the back. That is right, I really want us to know our vowels from our consonants. All right, and we also talked about a one, one, one word. That means we have three ones. Can you tell me what the ones are? Our word is one syllable, good, and it ends with one vowel followed by one consonant. All right, now when I want to add a vowel suffix to a one, one, one word, what do I have to do to my last consonant? Excellent, I double it. All right, so let's start with a new one, one, one word. And I am excited to write this word because it's a thing that I like very much. The word is nap. Class, what's our word? Great, nap. And what sounds do we hear in the word nap? Great, n -a -p. Write those sounds and say them while you write them. All right, class, tell me what I need to write to spell nap. Good. N, a, and p. Great. Make sure your nap looks like mine. All right. And now we are going to add some vowel suffixes to this word nap. But, oh, we have to figure out if it's a one, one, one word before we add a vowel suffix because we can't just go sticking vowel suffixes on if it's a one, one, one word. We have to do something different. All right, so let's figure out if this is a one, one, one word. Say it, with, say it for me to find the syllables. Nap, nap. All right, that's definitely just one syllable. And does it end with one vowel followed by one consonant? Let's see, is this a vowel? You're right, our vowels are, let's say, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. So this is A, and just now while we're memorizing our vowels, like I said, you have permission to use the letter names if it helps you memorize your vowels, not for spelling, all right? We say sounds for spelling. All right, so it, this is a vowel, and is this a vowel, or is this a consonant? Let's see, let's do our vowels. And if we eliminate the vowels, everything left is a consonant. So our vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. That is not A, E, I, O, U, or sometimes Y. So this is definitely a consonant. All right, that means nap is a one, one, one word. Because it ends, it's one syllable, and it ends with one vowel followed by one consonant. So if I want to add a vowel suffix to my one, one, one word, what am I going to do to the last consonant? Excellent, I am going to double it. All right, so let's start by writing our base word again. All right, and I'm gonna put my syllable mark because, oh, I didn't even tell you the word I wanted us to write. We're going to write napping. Can you say that for me to see that we need a syllable mark, napping? All right, our jaw went down two times, napping. So we need, we're gonna have two syllables. So after our base word, we're gonna put a syllable mark. All right, so I'm going to add my ing, but before I do that, since my base word is a one, one, one word, what do I need to do to my last consonant? Excellent, I need to double it. So over here, I'm going to write my Right, and then I can go add, go ahead and add my vowel suffix. Eh, ing, ing. All right, so this is 
what our napping should look like because nap is a one, one, one word. So if we're adding a vowel suffix, we need to double the last consonant. But, oh, oh, I marked it out of order. It's just hard for me to write a two-letter phonogram and not underline it. All right, so I leave my base word alone, but can you show me what I would do to this? And I'm going to double underline it, right? We don't hear that sound. We just have a rule that we need to double that last consonant. All right, so let's read our word. Good, napping, napping. Mm, that sounds so good right now. All right, but let's write one more. Let's add another vowel suffix to nap. Let's say, say I want to say, yesterday I napped for an hour. Now, let's see how many syllables napped is. Can you put your hand on your chin, say it for me? Napped, napped. Hmm. I only got one syllable. Is that what you got? All right. Well, you're right. Napped is just one syllable. All right. And that is just really quickly. When our ed, d, t, past tense ending, is saying its first sound, ed, it has a vowel sound in it, so it gets its own syllable, right? Because we need a vowel sound to have a syllable. When it's saying its second sounds, d and t, there's no vowel sound there. So it doesn't get its own syllable, even though there is a vowel in it. Right. So napped, I can tell by listening, it's my ed, d, t is saying its third sound. Or wait, napped. Yep, it's saying its third sound. <coughs> and so I'm not actually going to do a syllable mark here. All right, so napped. So we'll start by writing our base word nap. All right, and I'm not going to do a syllable break because napped, it's just one syllable. All right, but before I add my vowel suffix, what do I need to do to my last consonant? Very good. I need to double it. All right, and now I'm actually going to do what I should have been doing and have us go through the word and see if there's anything to mark. Do we need to mark this? How about this? Nope. How about this guy? If you did this, great job, because whenever we double that last consonant, because of a one, one, one word to add a vowel suffix, we're always going to double underline that, because I don't say nap ped, nap ped. I only hear one p in there. All right. Now, how are we going to mark this? I'm excited for us to mark this because this is fun. What are the three sounds of this phonogram? Good. The sounds are ed, d, t. And so, when it's saying its third sound, t, napped, I'm going to underline it and I'm going to put a little three on top. I don't think we've really done that with any of our phonograms yet. All right, so that lets us know it's saying its third sound. All right, so let's read the word we just wrote. All right, so that is a great example of how when we're adding a vowel suffix to a one, one, one word, we need to double, say it with me, double the last consonant. All right, we're going to see one more example of that. All right, class, we're going to practice adding vowel suffixes to one more word. And the word that we're going to add our vowel suffixes to, um, I like to call that a base word because it's the word we start with and then we can add on to it. All right, so if I ever say a base word, that's what I mean. So our base word is hop. What's our base word? Great. And what are we going to write to spell hop? Excellent. Write those sounds and say them while you write them. All right, class, what do I need to write to spell hop? Good. 
Put R and grape. All right, so make sure your hop looks like mine. And let's read it. All right, now let's see if hop is a one, one, one word. Let's see if it's one syllable, hop, yes. Does it end with one vowel followed by one consonant? Class, what are our vowels? Good, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. All right, so this is a vowel, is P a vowel? No, P is a consonant. So that means hop is a one, one, one word. All right, so now let's write, let's add the vowel suffix ing to write hopping. All right. So let's write the base word again. Say the sounds while you write them. All right. Now let's see if we'll need its own syllable. If hopping is going to be two syllables. Hopping. Yep, it is two syllables. So ing always, always, always gets its own syllable. This one is not as lucky. Sometimes it doesn't even get its own syllable. Oh, poor edit. All right, so we know we need a second syllable, so we're going to put in a syllable break. Now, before I add my vowel suffix ing, what do I need to do to that last consonant? Very good. I need to double it. All right, so I'm going to write another p. And then I can add my vowel suffix ing. What do I need to write to add my vowel suffix ing? Great, it's i, ng. All right, so write those sounds. I'll write them while you write them. Mm. All right, so make sure your hopping looks like mine. Do we need to mark this? No. How about this? Good. We need to double underline that consonant that we doubled. We don't hear it. How about this? No, it's saying it's first sound. And good. We always underline our mm because those two letters work together to make one sound. All right. Let's read the word we just wrote. All right, great job. Now, let's see, now we're going to add our edit past tense ending. So to say, the bunny hopped down the street, hopped. So I should have said the bunny hopped down the street yesterday, just to help you remember, we use this for things in the past. All right, hopped. So first of all, since we're adding this, we know it might not get its own syllable. Let's find out. Put your hand on your chin. Hopped. Hopped. No, nope, it's not going to get its own syllable. All right. So we're just going to, it's hopped is still all one syllable. All right. So let's write our base word and say the sounds while we write them. Uh, all right. And now we're not going to do a syllable mark because remember hopped is just one syllable. But what do we need? What do I need to do to my last consonant before I add my vowel suffix? Good. I need to double it. So I'm going to write another. P. And then I'm going to write my ed d t past tense ending. All right. So make sure your hopped looks like mine. Let's mark it. No. No. Good. We need to double underline that doubled consonant. And let's see. One more time. What are the three sounds of this phonogram? Good. The three sounds are ed, d, t, and it's hopped. Oh, it's saying it's third sound. All right. So we would underline it and put a little three right on top and in the middle. All right, let's read the word that we just wrote. 
All right, excellent work today, second grade.